Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Um, on this video, I am going to be preparing a Hungarian fried bread called langosh, and uh, I actually have a reason for making this. It's kind of sinister. Um, if you're curious, the link is down below for the other video. Anyway, let's get going. All right, so in the bowl here, I have three pretty large potatoes that I peeled, cut up, and boiled. Uh, they're actually still pretty warm. What I'm gonna do is get these guys mashed up. Then I'm going to add seven, seven teaspoons of instant yeast. Sprinkle that throughout. I got three teaspoons of sugar here. start getting this all incorporated. All right, so this is getting pretty well mixed up. Now, what I have here is four cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the mix. If uh, I decide that it, this is you know, a little bit too thin, I have more flour that I can add. Three teaspoons of uh, salt. Three tablespoons of oil. Now again, if I feel that it's too dry, I'll just add a little bit more oil. Get this mixed up. All right, I'm pretty happy with this consistency. Now what I'm going to do is, get this step out of the way first. I'm gonna flour my board here. And, We're going to knead this for about five to seven minutes. All right, so done kneading this dough. And it's now has, it has an elastic kind of a consistency, very similar to a pizza dough. What I'm going to do is place it in this uh, bowl here, which I have sprayed with a nonstick. And I'm going to cover it. I'm going to use uh, like a saran wrap, put it in a warm place, and uh, I want it to double in size. So I'll see you after it's uh, risen. All right, so the dough's all risen now, and uh, I want to point one thing out. Initially, what I did was I covered the bowl with saran wrap, and I noticed that condensation was building up in there. And I think uh, just because of that huge amount of uh, yeast in there with the starches and the sugar, it was just heating up and, and producing the condensation. So went with a towel. Um, I am planning on using this dough, like I said, for something else, links below, but just for anybody that may be watching this actually for this uh, bread recipe and also for my own curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and make one of these things the way they do in Hungary, because I'm hungry. <laughs> um, like I said, they fry it. so. I don't know, maybe a half a cup worth of dough there. And I'm just going to flatten this out to like a pizza. I've got um, oil on the uh, oven behind me, preheated at um, 350 degrees. And we're gonna fry this bad boy here. It looks good, let's go fry this. All right, so like I said, 350 degree oil. Now, you don't need this much oil, but again, I am doing something quite different with these than uh, traditional. So, but I do want to try this. It looks really good. What I'm looking for is just a nice golden brown on both sides. As you can see, it's floated up the surface. I'm just gonna take my strainer here and push it down. All right, and uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on some paper towels, let it uh, drain off a little bit, and then we'll give it a try. And all right, guys, here it is. Still nice and hot. Smells really, really good. Feels really nice and crisp on the outside. Um, when I was looking up the different recipes, I noticed that there are several ways of eating these uh, savory preparations with you know, different types of cheeses on it, vegetables, uh, garlic, onion, and then also sweet with things like cinnamon, sugar, honey on these. So I guess it's pretty versatile. Oh, I really like this texture. Just nice and like a thin layer of crispiness and then just like bread on the inside. 
it's good. It's really, really good. It almost tastes like a donut. Put a little sugar on here and you'd be set. Anyway, guys, watch my video. Link down below. You're going to be uh, pretty surprised, I think. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you on the next video. The one down below. Cheers.